So in this video, I wanted to show you how to use iPerf. I'm sure you've heard of iPerf uh, for performance testing. You can use websites for bandwidth test or performance test, but this is a second way of validation. Uh, you can download iPerf from this website, and then you have to know this website to hit the public servers and to test your you know, performance. It gives you uh, you know, all kinds of uh, public facing servers in US and, and out of US, Asia and Europe. So let's test one of these after you download iperf, it's just two files, you can copy it anywhere you want. I copied on the C drive. And then I copied um, this guy right here and just paste it here. So if I run this, you'll see that your performance from an upload and download perspective is shown here. And you're getting an average 47 megabits. But let's just say if you use the P option, capital P option with 20 parallel sessions, P is basically parallel sessions. Notice that you're getting less than 50 mega. Let's run it with 20 parallel sessions. You see that? You're, you're hitting 70, 90, 100 meg around that 99 meg. And then your average bandwidth now is above 50. It's almost 60. And if you run, if you play with this number, you may get uh, 20. I, I found that 20 is probably the, the optimal number, but you can play with that. Uh, and I think it goes all the way to 100, but you can see that you were getting below 50, and now with 20 parallel sessions, you were hitting uh, almost uh, 100 meg at one time, and then an average of 59. If you look at one of these down here, you will probably see that you did hit around 100 meg somewhere in one of those sessions. But uh, this option is definitely a, a second option to test your bandwidth. And you can, like I said, play with this number uh, as, as you like. You would also want to test with the bandwidth. So if you want to unlimit, you want to do a test with unlimited bandwidth with 20 parallel sessions, you would do bandwidth, no limit, and 20 parallel session. Let's see what we get now. You can see 120 megs at one point in time, 104 megs, 120 bit megs, and there you go. You are hitting all the way to 83 uh, to 80 meg average. So with the B option and the P option, you, this is like you can, again, like I said, you can go up up to 100, I think. If you go above 100, it fails. But uh, make sure you use the, the B option as zero unlimited bandwidth and the P with parallel sessions, and you'll actually get uh, most optimal um, uh, bandwidth performance test. You can probably get the similar with the web browser, but let's say if you don't have a web browser, you're using a Linux workstation, or a CLI-based workstation, uh, you can use iperf with uh, a B option and a P option to see what bandwidth uh, you're getting in, through your internet. Hope this helps.